this video we are going to talk about editing your mobile uh, layout and the mobile overlay color that happens when you click on your mobile menu icon. So um, you can see when I did that it defaults to white minimal so Squarespace automatically sets up that color as your white minimal color palette and how do you change that? So I'm going to show you how to change that, how you can change this icon here and the layout on your, your mobile header. So let's dive in. If you want to follow along, log into your Squarespace site and we're going to go to edit here in the top left. And right now I have this mobile view enabled. So when I click back, it goes to desktop click on it again, we go back to our mobile preview. Now um, we're going to want to edit the site header and then go to our mobile icon over here and you can see we can adjust our header layout here. So uh, you have these different options for your logo on the left, logo in the center. Um, you can see the, the menu icon is on the right on all of these. It's on the left over here. So really you can just play around with that, see how you like it. Um, personally, I think these menu icons on the right are your top three choices because that is going to benefit most users who are right-handed. They can easily click on that menu icon. So something to think about for user experience. Um, anyways, I'm going to keep this layout as is here and head back and the overlay menu so you can change the link spacing uh, by just sliding up or down you can change the alignment if you want it aligned to your right maybe it's a little a little bit easier to reach if it's aligned to the right or you can center just because it looks better or whatever your preference is um, and then your colors so here you can change the color theme for this overlay menu and I'm going to check out this black ball no maybe maybe accent yeah there we go I'm gonna go with this accent dark and then when you're done just click save looks like it's working on saving that um, anyways that normally will just work a lot more quickly when you click save and then you can test it out um, but for some reason my computer's stalling out on me here um, anyways that's how you would change your uh, mobile header layout and your mobile overlay menu and I hope that was helpful for you okay now it looks like it's saved okay there you go so when you click you can see we've now changed everything there so um, feel free to add a comment if you have further questions and I will do my best to respond as soon as possible thanks for watching